Welcome back to another video. We have a Nintendo Switch OLED with a failed installation or an attempt to install an HW Fly or a Pico Fly RP2040. Here you can see some of the solder that's on the. First of all, I just removed the this piece off of the CPU. So let me show you guys exactly what it looks like before we start explaining to see what we're going to do, okay? So this is this is the board that was on top, the HW, the Pico flies on the top, and we can see the solder here. This was actually kind of touching this capacitor. Let me see if I can zoom in a little better here. I'm always having trouble with this. All right, that looks good. So, there's your solder on the 3.3 volts. And you can see the C point here. There's just a lot of solder on there. So the reason I'm making this video is to, I guess, tell you guys just to take it easy. Be careful when you're installing this. It's, uh, it's very fragile and uh, you just got to take your time. So we're just going to clean this up. The system, the switch itself is not powering on. We're not getting any power. No amps are being drawn. So we're going to clean it up and see what it looks like. Then we're going to plug it in. I don't think I'm going to show you guys the full installation on this one. We've done that before. But I will show you how to clean up this type of uh, mess, you can say. By the way, thank you guys for subscribing and uh, those likes. I, we sincerely appreciate the, the support. We're going to continue to make videos as long as you guys can continue to Hit like and support us in any way. All, those, all, all of those guys that uh, have been asking questions, we are here to help. We can't always get to the all the messages, but we do see them. So thank you very much. And we'll give me one second. Here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is remove the solder and make sure that the system itself, or remove the chip, make sure that the system itself is booting up we can install something uh, if it's not working, right? So make sure we clean it up. Here we have, there's a resistor next to that capacitor. We are gonna clean it up and everything else looks good. For a moment, I thought that maybe some components were gone, but they're fine. I'm gonna turn the fume extractor. I don't want to knock those out, so I'm just removing them. And what I did here, from what I can tell already, the solder that they were using is some weird kind of solder. I don't know what kind it is. I really don't care, but it's not uh, easy to work with. See how hard it is? I have uh, my soldering iron temperature set to 710 at the moment, and it's barely sticking compared to mine. So we're trying to mix it here and mix, make, make our, ourselves the job a little easier. Again, we're just trying to clean it up a little bit. And we can always use some solder wick to remove that extra solder there. But it's barely sticking, so. I think there is a resistor missing there. We're gonna find out here shortly.
Okay, so we are uh, removing this, uh, fixing this issue here. I'm trying to just get it right here so that we don't have to start removing things, but I think there is a resistor missing there. We almost got it. Okay, that's good. And for this other pads, I believe there is a resistor there. We're going to check by by comparing the board to another system here that we have. Let's see. So look, there is a resistor missing off of that. We're gonna have to put it on there, okay? So let's grab a resistor. And these are the same values. I don't remember exactly what value it is, but value it is, but this is, I bought them specifically for this. Wrong one. Let me get the correct one here. So the resistor that we're going to be using is this one here. Actually, no, that's a capacitor. So bear with me, okay? Just uh, all right. So I found the correct resistors. We are going to get one out. For that, we're going to pretend the, pretend the area. This is the resistor we're going to install. We're going to put it aside for now. And we're going to prepare the area here. Okay, that looks good. That looks pretty good. And then it moved.
So I can always use heat, but I, I don't want to use heat today. I prefer not to. You can damage other items or stuff or things. All right, that's in place. Let's verify. You can see the solder on there. Maybe you can't see with the camera there, but it looks very good. And the solder on this side is perfect. We can bridge those if we want, but we're fine. We can clean it with alcohol, but we're gonna use the flux to our advantage and use it for um, to start at that point later. Let's clean up the front. Let's look at the CPU points here. The CPU points look very bad as well. I think it's actually just loose. So we will probably just remove these points here. See that? So that flex cable is not going to be good anymore. CPUs look okay. I'm just using alcohol here just to kind of see the capacitors. Let's look at the area above. So whatever solder was used here was not good for this application, okay? Make sure you use, I guess, low melt solder of any kind. It's just lifted. See, I can't even remove this. It's like rock or something. The, the, the components here look good. That looks okay. I don't know what kind of solder this is, this is crazy. Probably non leaded solder. Okay, so we have removed the, the chip. Now, what I would like to do, what I'm gonna do is, again, I'm not gonna go ahead and install the chip for you guys today, but we are going to test make sure that we got some kind of activity here. We are going to plug in the power. And at least measure the voltage here on the battery. See what we get. So I have my multimeter. We're gonna set it to 20, 20 volts or maybe even 10 volts. Ground to ground, and we're going to take the reading here. We are getting 4.2, so early we're, we were not getting anything. So that probably the reason we were not getting anything was because of this resistors here. So we fixed that, and now the system's alive. So I'm going to stop there. I will install this chip for the customer, and uh, hopefully you guys can learn something from these videos. I appreciate the support and also like and subscribe if you like it. We will continue to share what we know and sometimes maybe what we don't know. We're always on the, on, the, on the hunt for more knowledge. And thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button. 
See you guys on the next time. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.